Hi, uh, my name is Lil Shao. I'm a photographer from France, Paris. Today, welcome to Create Your Lights. The topic is uh, me being challenged to test the new Nikon Z50. I'm always using, you know, a full frame camera. So for the first time, I'm using an APS-C and I'm gonna show you how to shoot urban sports photography with this camera. So I'm gonna use the burst mode on this shot because he's gonna make a move in the air, hitting the ball. So having the 18 frame per second is gonna help me to catch the movement. Okay. So here, as you can see, I'm gonna use the 7200 millimeter 2.8 Z lens. So as you can see, it makes the global thing, the body plus the lens is really light. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna use a Nikkor lens, uh, which is my favorite one. It's the 105 millimeters, 1.4. Why? Because the fact that it's a long focal lens, the background is gonna be even more blurry. So I'm gonna use the um, adapter FTZ, because as you know, it's a Nikkor lens, but it's gonna react the same way as the Z lens. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use the tilt screen, because I'm just gonna put my camera really at the low angle. Got you. So right now I'm just gonna try to freeze the action because he's gonna do a move which is uh, pretty quick. So I'm gonna use uh, the fact that I'm ISO 100 at 1.4, so we, that, that gives me a lot of lights. So I'm able to right now to shoot at one of a 2,500 of a second. So now we are still in Paris, uh, we're in another location that can help me to bring a kind of like dramatic effect with the high buildings. So I'm gonna use the 16, 15 millimeter, the native lens, which is given with the Z50 kits. So this one can make a big angle to make a really dramatic shots. I will have the subject in front of the sky. So because I want to have the details of the clouds, I want to use the flashlight. So that's going to help me to really get the details on the sky plus the details on his body. So in this, this location is going to be a still pose. So right now I'm the ISO set at 100. The aperture, I'm going to set it up like at 11. Right in the speed, I'm a one of a 320 of a second because the move is gonna be not as fast as the previous moves, but still I wanna still freeze it to avoid any motion blur. On this specific shot, I'm gonna ask Logan to juggle with the ball. He's gonna be really moving and the ball is gonna be really random. So I'm gonna be on an automatic uh, autofocus plus the, the eye tracking. So we just arrived at another location, so you can see he's on top of something pretty high, having the buildings in the background. So I want to have the background really blurry to have him as sharp as possible. So for this, I'm going to use the 105mm 1.4 with the FTZ adaptator. So right now we are on my top of location in Paris because it's the top of Paris on the rooftops. I'm gonna shoot uh, Joan Tonoir, who is a free owner. So right now I'm gonna use the 70 200 mm 2.8. So now I'm just gonna frame to have him on the left having the skyline in the back. So again, I'm focusing it on, on him first, per focusing the center and I'm just gonna reframe it holding the button of the autofocus. So now I'm just gonna use the mode AF continuous uh, because he's gonna just run on the roof and trying to jump over an obstacle. So the goal is to always keep him in focus uh, because I don't know when exactly and how he's gonna jump over it. So in terms of budget, this one is more accessible for everybody compared to the full frame one. So that's the reason why I think it's interesting for me to, to give you feedback and to show you that you can still create those amazing images.